Alex și Vera Fedorciuc sunt din Ucraina, au șase copii, dar au plecat în America în urmă cu mai bine de 20 de ani. Pentru că și ei la rândul lor au fost refugiați într-o țară străină, pot înțelege foarte bine prin ce trec fraților ucraineni care ajung în România. We were um, refugees in the United States uh, 20-something years ago and we didn't speak the language, but I still remember all of those people who didn't speak Ukrainian or Russian, but they took us by the hand and they took us to a second-hand store to help us pick out some, some clothes, some very cheap clothes. They took us to the park, they took us to the marketplace, they kind of showed us around and we didn't speak the language. I still remember those people. So just caring for that one that's in front of you, for that one family. Maybe there is a family who is uh, in your church and they are sad and they can be crying. And don't be discouraged when people are a little upset in, in your presence. It's not that they don't appreciate you or the things that you do for them. It's that, you know, they're still hurting and they don't mean to be mean to people. They don't mean to be, you know, not to be thankful. They are thankful, but they are hurting. So just be that safe place for them. Just be that that person who loves them no matter what. And sometimes it's difficult, but I know that when God's love goes through us, we can do so much more. Deși de ani de zile au organizația Agape prin care au ajutat copiii din orfelinatele din Ucraina, acum mai mult ca oricând au simțit că trebuie să dea o mână de ajutor refugiaților. What we are doing as organization, as Agape Ministries, uh, so we bought uh, 10 uh, different uh, vehicles and we are evacuating people uh, from uh, Kharkiv, uh, from uh, you know, Kiev, uh, from those cities to uh, western Ukraine and to the borders of uh, Uh, Romania to uh, Poland, etc. Also bringing food to uh, those people as well. So we're kind of our uh, buses is going with food and humanitarian aid, what they receive on the border from uh, uh, Polish people, Romanian people, I'm actually from all the West, bringing to uh, Kharkiv to East and then uh, bringing back uh, refugees. This is... Uh, what what we are doing but as i said we are a pro-christian organization so in every way what we are doing we are trying uh to do uh to preach the gospel we are trying uh to uh you know to promote god because i really you know i see how god is helping those people who are asking for help how god is uh, just blessing uh, those who are asking and god is doing a lot in the life of people who are just escape from death. Refugiații ucraineni sunt plini de durere, spun Vera și Alex, și au nevoie de cineva care să-i asculte și să se roage pentru ei. Our job is just to go and to, to be the safe place for those people who are in refugee centers. They, they finally had a chance to sit down, to, to have a meal. So they, they came from a long way and now we just have a chance to sit down with them and to talk to them and... Actually, we don't need to talk to them a lot. We just need to listen to them. Everybody has so much pain inside because the husbands uh, stayed in Ukraine. The mo- mothers with uh, at least two kids, two or one child, are traveling uh, without their husbands. And it's really difficult sometimes because, um, like yesterday, um, We, our volunteers met a woman. She she was traveling for four days with two little kids in her arms, and they they don't take their strollers with them because strollers take a lot of space. So people only take something that's that you can fit in the backpack for for the kids and for for themselves. And this this mama she has to you know carry all the stuff together with the kids, and it's really difficult. Ucrainenii sunt uimiți de dragostea cu care au fost primiți de români. 
one family came and I told them, listen, God loves you. And uh, the lady started to cry. And she said, how people accept me in Romania? I did not know the Christians uh, in the Protestant churches that exist like this. You know, how they accepted me, how they gave me food. You know, they brought me to church. And uh, she said, you know, I really believe God is exist and God loves me so much because I, I just amazed, uh, you know, how good are these people are. So that's how we can, uh, you know, show the love of God to people around us. And uh, what I would like to say to Romanian Christian people, if you see Ukrainians, uh, they are, uh, you know, like as a refugee, tell them about love of God. Tell them that God loved them. It's really, really important. Uh, you know, and just listen. You know, sometimes uh, maybe they can speak English. Maybe they can communicate somehow with you. Just listen to them and uh, just show them that God is take, is caring for them, is thinking about them. And because they are already in Romania, that's mean they're already in a safe place. So they're already blessed. De asemenea, acum este o mare nevoie ca bisericile din România să și deschidă ușa pentru ucraineni. If you are a pastor, if you have a church, uh, it would be so good to have a Russian Ukrainian uh, translation or service uh, in, you know, like in, in the middle of the Sunday or some sometime. I know there are some people in Arad and uh, Timișoara as well. And uh, you know Bucharest, uh, that what I know, they open the churches for Uh, refugees and then uh, doing uh, Russian speaking uh, services. It's very, very important to open the church to do, uh, you know, Russian speaking uh, translation. translation and services as well. We love you guys. You are the great. Uh, you are uh, really good people. Really, Romanian people are really good. I'm yeah, going... we were amazed by your hospitality, and yeah. everybody is. All the Ukrainian people that we meet, they are crying with the tears of joy. They never, because they're not Christian people, so they they are so amazed that strangers are helping them them so much. Strangers are, are loving them. So thank you so much. Oh,